Tilt-Up is being used all over the world for its practicality, cost effectiveness and speed of construction. Methods of manufacturing Tilt-Up have varied over the years, from timber form work to systems that are cumbersome and don't offer the total solution. Panelware is a patent protected stack casting Tilt-Up system, comprising only eight main components. It's light, compact and very easy to use. The panelware system is fully adjustable to manufacture any size panel, achieve perfectly accurate panels and save on costly crane expenses when erecting and lining up panels. All panelware brackets are designed to adapt to various sizes of aluminium edge form. When panel thickness changes from job to job, simply change the size of the edge form. All other components of the system remain the same. Panelware has four compatible sizes of edge form available. Panelware allows you to stack cast as many panels as necessary, giving the versatility needed on restricted area and tight access sites. Made from structural grade aluminium, the edge forms are strong and light, preventing injury from strain and heavy lifting. No nailing is necessary and the fillets are perfectly true producing a straight and quality edge finish to your panels. The panelware system bolts together and requires no drilling or tech screwing to connect brackets and components. This ensures your aluminium edge forms remain in excellent condition to manufacture quality panels year after year. Panelware is totally reusable. Job after job, the panelware system is robust and durable, saving you money on replacement of costly form work. There are no obstructions above the edge forms, allowing you to screed and power trowel finish right to the edges. Perfectly flat, even and high quality finish panels every time. As a result of its compact design, only a minimal amount of additional area is required above the size of your panel. This is of particular benefit when having to cast panels on a casting bed, saving you costs on excess concrete for the bed. Make savings on your labour costs. So simple to use, even the unskilled individual can box panels with minimal training. The system speeds up panel making and reduces labour costs by quick assembly, ease to dismantle and ease to clean. Meet the tight construction programs required in today's competitive building market. Okay, my name's Bernie, I've been doing the tilt up panels now for about seven or eight years. Um, I've pretty well used all the different sorts of form work that's available, right down to your timber, to some of the other aluminium uh, type products. Um, this is uh, by far the most uh, user friendly and easiest to use. You don't have any wastage, so uh, like as in your, when you're using um, timber products, etc., you've got a lot of off cuts and wastage. The fact that it's the tracks are all uh, interlocking and sliding and adjustable, uh, makes changing the, sh the shape and size of a panel very quick, very easy. I can't really say enough about it actually, it's, uh, it's a fantastic system. Yeah, it makes me money, which is, uh, which is the main idea. Simply, there are six main components and two specially designed tools to the panelware system. The components are the edge form, the top bracket, the bottom bracket, the corner bracket, the joiner bracket and the ferrule mounting bracket. The tools are the magnetic suspender and the edge form track cleaner. All panelware components are manufactured under strict quality control. Only quality materials and services utilising the latest technology such as laser cutting, professional milling and machining are used. The edge form is an extruded aluminium section used to form up the perimeter edge of the panel. Panelware uses a structural grade alloy and a 3mm wall thickness ensuring the edge forms are strong and durable and will not bow when in use. Designed with the edge form is a continuous track opening to the back. This track accommodates a 12mm stud bolt which is inserted sideways and turned clockwise to be engaged and locked into position. The stud bolt is removed by rotating a quarter turn anti-clockwise. The edge form includes top and bottom 45 degree edge fillets and a continuous groove, which depicts the actual face edge of the edge form. This allows you to measure from this groove when measuring panel size and cast in locations such as ferrules and lifters without having to offset for the 15mm fillet. 
One end of each length is cut as a splay, allowing that end to fit into the face of another edge form, forming a neat and sealed corner. The other end is left square. 12.5mm holes are drilled into the edge form for ferrule locating. These ferrules will act as anchor points for the bottom bracket, allowing the system to climb. A socket head cap screw is inserted in each hole from the track side. A washer is placed over the thread to provide a recess if the holes are required to be patched and flushed. A 12 by 50 mm ferrule is then screwed in place to be cast into the panel. Once the edge forms are cut to the desired length, for example in increments of 1 meter, and the holes are drilled, the edge forms are not required to be cut for different panel sizes. Each length is allowed to run past the intersection point of the adjoining edge form as displayed here. Panel wear edge forms are symmetrical on the vertical axis and therefore the top can be used as the bottom and vice versa. The top bracket is used to engage and hold the edge form in the correct position while pouring. The top bracket has two vertical slots where the stud bolt is attached which in turn engages the edge form and provides height adjustment and a window which provides access to the socket head cap screw locating the ferrule. Other features of the top bracket include a keyhole slot in the base of the bracket, allowing for panel width and length adjustment, and a tilt adjuster to correct the edge form should it be out of plumb. The top bracket is engaged into the track of the edge form with the stud bolt and provides three-dimensional adjustment. The vertical slot allows for up and down movement, the track allows for the side to side movement, and the keyhole slot in the base allows for the in and out movement. These three movement options allow you to achieve the critical accuracy necessary for today's panel market. To fix the top bracket to the edge form, simply tighten the nut on the stud bolt. Note that the stud bolt is only required on one of the two vertical slots and can remain attached to the top bracket when not in use. The tilt adjuster raises the back of the bracket, causing the edge form to tilt until plumb. This feature is not required often, but still provided as an option. As with all panel wear brackets, the top bracket will accommodate all four sizes of edge form. The top bracket does not protrude above the 125mm edge form, yet will still engage the 200mm edge form. The bottom bracket is used to support the top bracket and edge form when forming the next panel. The bottom bracket is strengthened with a full length gusset and has two nuts welded to the underside which act as anchor points to fix the top bracket. A flanged head purlin bolt is screwed into the back nut. This bolt can be left in the bracket at all times. The keyhole in the base of the top bracket is placed over the purlin bolt and the top bracket can then slide forward to the correct position and be locked in place. In the event of a panel reducing in size by up to 300 millimeters than the panel below, the purlin bolt can be transferred to the front nut, allowing the top bracket to slide further inward, reducing the size of the panel. A flanged head purlin bolt anchors the bottom bracket into the ferrule in the panel below, through the vertical slot in the front of the bracket. The corner bracket is used to join edge forms at 90 degree corner junctions. The edge forms are placed in position and a stud bolt engaged in each track. For the first panel, the corner bracket is mounted from the top and the stud bolts engaged in the slots and then tightened. After the first panel is cast, the corner bracket can be mounted from the underside to eliminate any obstruction. The corner bracket is adaptable to be used for left and right hand corners, from above and below and again as with every panel wear bracket for all four sizes of edge form. The joiner bracket is a bolt on bracket that allows you to quickly and easily join two lengths of edge form to extend your edge form to accommodate the panel size. The ferrule mounting bracket is used to attach a template to it to suspend ferrules which need to be cast into the face of a panel. For example, connection plate ferrules. A timber template is screwed to the bracket to which the ferrules are mounted by bolts. The bracket is attached to the edge form by a stud bolt sliding into a vertical slot in the bracket. After correct positioning, the nut is tightened. Once concrete is poured and set around the ferrules, the bolts supporting the ferrules are removed along with the bracket and template. 
The concrete is finished, leaving the ferrules positioned accurately in the panel. The magnetic suspender is a specifically designed tool used for the temporary support of the bottom bracket until the bottom bracket is fixed into position. The magnetic suspender made from aluminium channel has three very strong magnets machined into it which hold the bottom bracket to its underside. A large hole is cut out to allow for the purlin bolt in the bottom bracket to protrude through without having to be completely removed for every lift. A purlin bolt is partly screwed into the ferrule in the last panel poured, followed by the bottom bracket being placed over the bolt. The magnetic suspender is placed on the panel directly above the bottom bracket, and the bottom bracket is lifted and held by the magnets at the exact finish level of the panel previously poured. The purlin bolt is tightened and the magnetic suspender removed, leaving the bottom bracket ready to engage the top bracket at the correct level. Handles are positioned at either end for convenience. The magnetic suspender is an integral tool to the speed and accuracy of the panel wear system. It enables the fixing of the bottom bracket to be performed quickly and accurately by one person. The edge form track cleaner is a specifically designed tool which fits neatly into the track of the edge form to clean out any concrete slurry and debris. The track cleaner is simply placed in the track and pushed along the edge form, leaving the track clean and ready for the next panel to be formed. We recommend the track cleaner be pushed through the edge form track after each pour to prevent build up and setting of any concrete slurry. I've been using it for a good part of 18 months and I think it's the best one on the market and it's uh, very easy to use, not so bulky to transport. The, the best I've found, I've, I've, I've used a few, a few other systems, but this one is, is the one that I choose to work with. Very quick to come up the panels, it's very easy to get anybody to use it, very simple to explain and it just falls into place by itself basically. Yeah, we're very happy we chose this system as our pre preferred option and the investment has been worthwhile. Uh, it all adds up at the end. The end result is magnificent.